Hello guys, you're now watching In Harder Style. My name is Jay Reef. I just played at Halloween Festival and I had a sick night and I hope to see you soon. Bye bye. Free your mind. Free your mind. You are listening to In Harder Style. In Harder Hi, Jerry. Style. Good evening. Good evening. Bonsoir. 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 <laughs> um, thanks, thank, first, first of all, thank you very much uh, to, 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 to have some time for us. No problem, no problem, of course. Um, we, we speak together in a long time ago, three, 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 three months ago. We do a, a first interview uh, by phone. So yeah, yeah, I remember. It was from a hard case festival in uh, France. Yeah. And we did a radio interview, right? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. So, so um, now we're here again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. finally. Cool. Finally, yeah, exactly. New experience. New experience. So um, you, 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 you come every, every, every month, every two months in France? So, do, do, you, do you love it? Well, yeah, I love it, of course. It's not every two months, but there are like some times that I come like um, two times a month for like two times in two months, and then there's like three months of silence, and then, I don't know, it, 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 it's, it's different each month, but yeah, I, I, I come here like pretty much for uh, in France. I, I was wondering if you have any, any plans in France. I mean, apartment, girlfriend, because you come a lot. <laughs> <laughs> no, no girlfriend. I have a girlfriend at home, so uh, okay. I, I think she preferred to me to stay at home. <laughs> no, but um, no, no plans. I just make music, and um, yeah, apparently I think people like it what I do here, so that's, that's good to see. Also tonight when I played here at the uh, Halloween festival, and uh, yeah, people really enjoy the music and uh, the set that I played. So yeah. I think it, it's, it's not the first time you play at uh, at uh, Halloween. Last, last year you was here yeah, as next, well. Last year as well. Yeah. Yeah, but I think this year is even better. I, uh, yeah, I mean this year like the crowd is even more energetic. And even though I was playing uh, an early set like uh, at the opening, but I think like first hour, half hour people uh, came in. Like uh, it wasn't too crowded yet. But then uh, I played 90 minutes, and the last 60 minutes it was like already pretty packed, and people went really nuts, and they they could sing along every melody. I could just like turn on the volume and people would scream the melody. So, the yeah, exactly. That was perfect. So the atmosphere, was like, for the first DJ, the atmosphere was already perfect. Cool. That's really cool. Yeah. Cool. yeah. So um, I was talking about the friends, but you, you have a special relationship with uh, French um, uh, DJs and producer, uh, which is uh, makes sense. Yeah. You produce uh, already two... Two collabs. Two collabs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, he's a good friend of me. We always uh, send each other new music when we have, like, uh, when we, yeah, when we have a new idea, we send it to each other for some feedback. Um, and he helps me with it, I help him with it. And sometimes we have this like small piece of music and then when he sends me something or I send him something, it's like, okay, we need to make this a collab, you know? Like, I've got some great ideas, you've got great ideas, and then we can build it together as one great collab. Um, yeah, and it happened two times, like uh, with Don't Give Up, and it was a really summerish track with had, like a saxophone in it, so it was really for the for the summer. And the last track was called Get High, and it was a more experimental track. Um, it, was, it was released two two months ago, so yeah. something like that. Yeah, I think around that. Yeah, on my uh, latest EP. And um, for that track, I don't know. I, we we just try to do something different, you know. I, I usually do very melodic stuff. But when I play at a festival, I, I just notice that I myself also play a lot of experimental tracks like reverse, bass, side style stuff. And I just wanted to make one of these more experimental tracks for myself as well. So every time I do that one of the kind of tracks, I also can play one of my own tracks as well instead of always grabbing another one's track when I do experimental stuff, you know? Yeah. It's funny you're talking about, talking about uh, Euphoric because uh, to tonight you was the ambassador of Euphoric uh, because there is not a lot of I was the only one, I think. Yeah. I was the only one. <laughs> so yeah, ambassador, man. I was the headliner of Euphoric Art Style. <laughs> yeah. True, true. Um, do, you, do you have any, any, any plans for the future? I mean, you're talking about um, reverse bass. Did you plan to do um, maybe uh, tracks with um, reverse bass? Uh, of course, I always like reverse bass. I'll, I always do, um, when I make a euphoric style track, I also uh, like to put some kind of energetic mid intro into it. You know, like mid intros are really more um, based on the kicks, you know, like you can uh, go more crazy with the kicks like reverse bass or more harder. And then when the melody kicks in, you mostly have a more regular kick. Um, so I usually have like a melody and a mid intro, and the mid intros always go crazy, always 
like to be creative with the kicks, like sometimes it's reverse bass, sometimes it's side style, sometimes it's a little bit more raw or I don't know, I just like to experiment in that part of the track because it makes me really creative. And there will be a lot of reverse bass kicks for sure as well in the future, so oh, cool. definitely. Cool. I like those. Good, good. Yeah, yeah, we, we love it as well. We love it. Um, so, um, except that, did you, I just saw on the web you have something playing. I mean, you have collab to, 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 to be released since uh, before the, the, the end of the years? Uh, you mean like the, the collabs? Or? Yeah, yeah, collabs, well, yeah. Uh, yeah I, I plan to do collabs. I'm not sure if we will release those this year. Uh, I mean, I have, I have a lot of tracks ready, which will, some of them will be released this year. Um, but for the collabs, um, they need to be finished still. So okay. I don't think they will be re uh, released this year, but definitely next okay. year. So. There, there are a lot of plans, so uh, okay. yeah. 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 And who is the DJs? When you, who is the producer you, 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 you will pr produce with? Like with the collapse. Yeah, with the collapse. Uh, well, I, I spoke to uh, you know Prime Shock. It's like uh, yeah. Prime Shock is also uh, like a really uh, promising name in uh, Holland. It's a duo, and they also really make energetic melodic stuff, which I really like. And so I think if we combine our styles, Style it, it will be can, can really, really good. Something yeah. different than you. Yeah, yeah, but like really good. Like it will fit really, really good with each other. Um, of course, I have a lot of support from Wild Styles, and I'm also always in contact with him. I send him new tracks, a new project, um, and we also discussed uh, to do a collab. Um, I don't know when it will happen, but <laughs> it, it will happen for sure. <laughs> but yeah, we like producers are always busy. You know, it's like if they say we will do it next week, it will happen uh, in three months or so. You know, yeah. So. Um, yeah, we discussed plans for it, but I don't know when we, when no, we will nothing start. Is, nothing is ready yet. Yeah, we have, we have like sure. some ideas uh, okay. going on, but need yeah, we, we need, we need, yeah, we need to be like really uh, satisfied with the idea first before we're going to work it out, you know? Sure, sure. But I think sure. the idea of a track is the most important part of the track. If you don't like the idea, then it's probably not going to work out. So if, I, I spend most of my time um, on the idea. And if you just released uh, the... Um, your, your booking at the reverse. Uh, you, you put the pictures online and you create. Yeah, I try to make it a bit mysterious. Yeah, yeah. yeah. For me, it's uh, definitely a milestone. It's my first time at reverse. Yeah. And I think reverse is like the climax of Belgium. Like with, with, with the show, and there's a lot of people coming. Um, so for me, it's a, it's a big milestone to be there for the first time. Um, yeah, so I'm definitely happy to be part of it, and I can't wait to play there. So, yeah. yeah. And um, last question, very, very uh, <laughs> different question. Okay. If you have the pleasure to to um, to, to do a B2 B2B with uh, DJs, who is not um, all star DJs? I mean, who is gonna be? If you if you can like, outside mix, of hardstyle. Yeah, outside of hardstyle. Um, if you have the chance. I think Don Diablo. Yeah, I really like his uh, positive vibe uh, in his music, which I always like to create in my own music as well. So I think when it comes to vibe of the set, you know, yep. I think it will still be like it will still fit, you know. Uh, yeah, and I get a lot of inspiration from his track. So if there's anyone outside of Hard Cell, will probably be him okay. that I would like to do a back to back with. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Thank you very much. Okay. Hello, guys. You're now watching In Harder Style. My name is Jay Reef. And uh, I just played at Halloween Festival and I had a sick night and I hope to see you soon. Bye bye. Free your mind. Free your mind. You are listening to In Harder Style. In Harder Style.